flat rate loans are the same as simple interest loans. Some of you may remember simple interest loans from the following formula, I equals PRN. Now let's say I got a car loan of $10,000 with an interest rate of 6% per annum. Now what this means is that every year I must pay $600 in interest to the bank. Now the problem with this is that at the end of the year you might decide to pay off some of this loan. You might decide to pay off $2,000 meaning that you now owe $8,000 rather than $10,000. Now the thing is, if you calculate 6% of $800, you get $480. So you would, naturally you would think, well, now that I've paid off some of my loan, I really should only have to pay $480 in interest. But that's not the case, because at, at the start we said that this was called a flat rate loan. Flat rate meaning that it stays at the flat rate. So. The sec so when you've paid off part of your loan, you're still paying that $600 in interest rather than paying $480. Okay, for our example, Ben has borrowed $20,000 from Loans R Us. He needs to repay the loan using monthly installments over four years at 9% per annum flat rate interest. Now, before we even attempt the questions, let's write down some key points here. We'll start with the formula. Flat rate interest, as it talks about here, means simple interest. So our formula is I equals PRN. Next, what we're going to do is, well, we, we need to know what P, R, and N are. P is the amount we borrowed, or principal, which is $20,000. Next, a bit more challenging, is R. Now, R is our percent, percentage rate which is 9%, but it says 9% per annum, and it wants us to work in what's called monthly installments. So we need to convert that to months. So there are 12 months in a year, so we're going to divide. 9 divide 12 equals 0 0.75, and so we get a new interest rate of 0.75% per month rather than per annum. Uh, we also have to go one more step because we don't want a percentage, we want to convert it to a decimal. Now you may remember earlier to convert a percentage to a decimal, all we do is divide by 100, which will now give us 0 0.0075, and that is the value of R. Next we're going to move on to N. Now N is the number of time periods, which in this case is four years, but once again we're working in months, not years. So there's 12 months in a year, so 4 times 12 equals 48. Okay, so we've got 48 months that we're working with. How much interest will Ben need to pay? Well, to calculate this, what we're doing is we're finding I, standing for interest, and I equals PRN, the formula we said at the start. And to calculate that, all we need to do is find, have our, take our three values, which we've found, and substitute it in. So our formula will now say I equals, now instead of P we will write 20,000 times R which is 0 0.0075 times N which is 48. And when we multiply these three things together we get 7,200 which means that Ben will have to pay $7,200 in interest. What is the total amount Ben must repay? Well, he still has to pay back the amount he borrowed. So he still needs to pay back $20,000. But additionally, he also has to pay back the interest, the interest being 7200 So altogether, he must pay 20000 plus 7200 or $27,200. What repayments must Ben pay each month? Well, to pay off the loan, he needs to pay off a total of $27,200 so that he owes, so that he doesn't owe any more 
to Loans Are Us. In order to do that, we've got to figure out how much he's got to pay in each one of those 48 months. So all we do is we divide it by 48, and that will give us how much we have to pay for one month's worth, and that's the answer to this question. So how much interest does Ben have to pay each month? Once again, we're just finding interest, which is I, and we know that I equals PRN. So we're just going to go I equals 20,000, because that's P, times R, 0 0.0075, times N. Now N is different this time, it's not 48, because it just wants us to find the interest paid for each month, meaning one month. So N is 1 this time, and you should get $150. How much will Ben owe at the end of the first four months? Well, let's just look at how much he's paying off each month. He's paying on his loan $566.67. But off this amount of money, 150 of those dollars is being used to pay off the interest. So if we subtract these two, we will get $416.67, and this is the amount that's being used to pay off the original $20,000. And he's paying this off over a period of four months. So let's times it by four, which equals $1,000. $666.68 and if we subtract that amount from our $20,000 you will get $18,333.32 and that is how much he now owes on his loan.